In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can migrate our WordPress website to a different URL or in a different WordPress website. So this is the website which we are going to migrate and in this location in a subdomain. So here I also installed another WordPress. In this location, I will migrate my WordPress website and for that I will use a free plugin. So first I'm going to this website and going to dashboard and now I'm going to install a new plugin. So here I'm searching for WPVV and this is the plugin WPVV backup and migration plugin. Now I'm going to install and activate and now here we can see backup and restore options so from left side we can select what we are going to download so it will be database and wordpress file and where we can restore our backup so we can restore to our local device or we can restore to a remote storage like google drive dropbox microsoft one and so on so i like to select this one and this one now click on backup now so it's taking backup and here one more thing here is a checkbox this backup can only be deleted manually so if we check this box this backup will not delete it automatically so here is by default five last backup is stored so when any extra backup restored that will be deleted automatically but uh, if we check this box that case this backup will not be deleted automatically okay so now if i scroll down so here you can see our backup is restored and now i'm going to download so here is the amazing thing our download file is now divided into several files as a zip so if our site is so much large in size that case it will be divided into several files so using this plugin we can migrate obviously a large size website so now i'm going to download one by one the first one then second one the third one and the fourth one okay so these are downloading and by this time i'm going to the new site where we will restore our website so now again going to dashboard and here going to plugins and add new plugins and in the similar way here we will also install this wpvv plugin so i'm searching for wp vivid and going to install this one okay so our file is downloading this time okay so our file is downloading by this time we can check with the other options of this plugin so here is the schedule tab and from here we can set a specific time for automatic backup so it can be daily it can be in 24 hours or weekly or monthly and we can set database and file or only file or only database and here is save backup on local host we can save it to our local host or we can save to a remote storage and if you like to take the automatic backup that case you can set it from here and then save changes i'm just leaving it as it is and then auto migration so here is also auto migration option so if we select any remote url so it can take backup and restore to a different location these are mainly for pro options and then remote storage so we can also set our remote server information from here so if we set any google drive or dropbox or any remote server access then it will be restored to a specific server 
and then settings these are all okay for now and then debug logs key i i think all these are okay we need not to worry about all this extra tab so for migrate our wordpress website we can only stay with these options okay so our file is already downloaded now i'm going to upload our files one by one so for that again i'm going down and from here click on upload then select file and going to download and these are my files so i'm selecting all and open and now going click on upload so now all this file will be uploaded one by one it will take some time okay so all file uploaded complete now from here we can see here is our file backup so now we have to restore this backup so now i'm just clicking on this restore and click on this button restore are you sure to continue okay okay so restore completed successfully now our website login is updated so now the website login will be same which was the login for the previous website so now i am going to login and now if we go to visit site okay so our website is moved to the new location and after moving website we just need to check one more thing i'm going to settings and going to permalink and from here we have to set the permalink to post name and again i'm saving changes okay so all set now so if we now refresh the website and now if we go to the another pages you can see all the pages and url is working fine okay so here is all for today i hope this tutorial will help you so if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial